It feels like I've been sewing forever. When I was very young, I started dreaming that you ought to be able to paint with fabric and thread. I just really didn't have any idea how it could be done. It has always been about gaining a texture, gaining a, a feeling, a feeling of wind, a feeling of water moving, and that's done with a quilting stitch. I don't call my work quilts, they're paintings. They're paintings that happen to be made of fabric. My heartbeat is landscape. I began with winter because I love winter. Cold air, I love it. I love the way it feels, um, the quiet, the muffled sound of the snow, those are inspirational for me. The trees especially, because they are the Earth's skeleton, and, and they are reaching up to heaven. And all the other seasons, they're clothed, but in the winter, you really see what's there. I did it because of the poppies. The evening light was coming across the landscape, and when I turned, I saw this fabulous old abandoned church, and I knew that it was going to become a piece of art. It really was the beginning of thread painting, heavy thread work for me. I think collaboration is really important. So Claude, my husband, is a wonderful partner. I can say to him, oh, look at the light, and he gets it, and he'll turn my head to another spot and I'll see what he sees. It's a wonderful thing to share. The trees are on Ile Lamont here in Vermont. It's the Lake Champlain. It's a place that we really love. The bark on the trees is heavily thread painted as are the leaves. However, the piece is a dye painted piece. It started out white and I painted it with dyes, and then I painted it with thread. There are probably about 40 artists in the world that do something close to what I do, and that means that anything that I submit has to be excellent. It has to be excellent on the front, and it has to be excellent on the back. That drives me. It's a good thing. Vazi means let's go. I love the bike. It reminded me of when I was a child and I got my first two-wheeler. That was just freedom. And this bike just is saying, let's go. I live in my studio. <laughs> my studio is a pretty small space. But I think with all my work, the real secret is time. That you have to be willing to spend the time. It has been a year of breaking out of the box. I've been able to move into abstract. I did a little portraiture. This next one is called Adventures in Space. I was experimenting to see if I could dye paint and use a big brush technique. I really love it. I love curating. It's lots of fun. It's lots of work. I get to take a group of artists or a group of art and create a new work out of it. The work of intertwined all comes from those roots, ancestors that knit or that spun their wool or wove, but it's taken to a totally different level. I knew these people were out there and I just needed to find the right combination of them for this show, and I think I did. When you talk about music, people say, well, she's a crossover artist. Well, I'm a crossover artist. My work is gaining in value every day. I have won prizes. I am getting a national reputation. Mostly, I hope they'd want to own my work just because they love it and they don't think they could live without that piece. There is more work in my brain that wants to happen 
then I don't know, can I get it done in a lifetime? I really don't know, but I sure hope I can. To be able to take that gift and move in it and work in it and share it with other people, wow, what a great life.